Yes. You guys ready? You guys ready? Let's start the day off. The weekend. Come on, guys. In the yard. Let's go. In the yard. Come on. Come on. No cheating. Come on. No, Frank. You always try this. Go in the yard. Oh, man. No peeing on my barbecue. So good morning, everybody. Good Saturday morning. And look at it. It's going to be a good day. I'm planning on going to the land today, gathering some firewood. Stocking up a little bit. You know, when we installed this air conditioner, uh, a lot of you, including our family members, said that we should probably build a little fence around it here so that the dogs don't uh, do their business on it. Uh, and we agree with you. That's a great idea. We would like to do that. But so far, we've been very lucky. The dogs don't even want to go anywhere near it, really. I don't think they like it much. I mean, they probably don't understand what it does for them. They would like it if they understood that. But No, they never, never go around here. That's all the fire would have got left. But they naturally like to go to the back, usually behind the sheds, further away from the house. I think they understand that uh, we don't like them doing that anywhere near the house heading out to the land i was going to take the big guys with me but just remembered Britt reminded me just before i left uh, she messaged me from work they haven't gotten their tick medication yet their wood ticks uh what, what is this like this little pill sort of like a treat that they get and it protects them from tick bites and with west nile being around here we really don't want to risk it with our dogs and it's hard to find all the ticks and especially in Chevy's big fluffy fluffy coat so what it does is this medicine goes into their system and any tick that bites them for the next few months just dies and falls off it was really really nice and handy I just don't want to bring them there now before they get that and have a bunch of ticks latch on then we don't find them then a few days later it's too late someone's got a big subwoofer in the lineup here now so kind of him to share his music with all of us. Good thing we all have the exact same taste in gangster rap. Oh, he's cool too. Oh. Wish I was that cool. And have you ever noticed this? I have to admit, I used to do the same thing when I was a teenager until I grew up. All right, when I was still a child, I would have to roll my windows down on a nice sunny day like this all the time, all the way down, all the windows down, and just crank the music that I'm listening to. Crank it. So that everybody else could see how cool I was and hear the music that I'm listening to. Those were cooler days, man. Cooler days. Now I'm just an old guy. Doesn't want the volume up too high on the stereo. Has the windows up so that the air conditioning doesn't get out. Slowly rolling down the road, doing the speed limit, using his turn signals, not having his high beams on in traffic. Man, I'm a boring guy. I am boring. Kind of sad that I couldn't take the big guys with me. Thought it'd be a lot of fun and it'd be good to get them some exercise, but their health comes first, right? One second. Hey there, what can I get for you? Hi. Could I get a large coffee with two cream and a shot of espresso in it? That's it. Super duper. I'm excited. However, I have grown past the, the phase of having my windows down with the crank, cranked music and subwoofers that, you know, vibrate the ground a mile away. They're cool to listen to. I, I'm, I'm nothing against those kind of stereos. They're awesome. I, I love it. I just... It kind of bugs me when you're in traffic. Nobody else wants to listen to that. Nobody else. But, whatever. If you're on the highway, crank her up. Give her. Rattle your license plate right off. I don't care. I got my Tim card out here. There we go. We're here. Mm hmm. So the last time we were working out here, it was a little bit wetter yet, but looks like it's all dried up, which is good. That means we got high land and there's no low land here. Otherwise it would still be pulled up. Good. My dad made me a new dolly pad for that. Thank you very much. 
works great. And got the slide outs all popped out already. Ready to ready to go. We got the trailer up on wood here, so it's not gonna sink in. You can see the wood has already sunk in a little bit. So imagine how far this trailer would be sunk in. These tires would be into the axles already if I hadn't have done that. Or it could have been anyways, who knows. And then it's the same thing over here on this side. Good, 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 good. And she's all leveled out. So now I'm gonna see if the air conditioner can be powered by this thing. And get to some mowing. I got my chainsaw up there. One of these days we're gonna get a skid steer yet, but for now, I'm gonna start doing as much as we can to clear this all down. Oh, I can't wait till this is actually home. All right, very important to have air conditioning here. I'm already cooking and it's only plus 10 today. That's what, 70, 70, 65 Fahrenheit? No, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I don't know. It's not too warm yet, but it feels hot. So I can just imagine once it gets to plus 30 and above, you know, up to about 100 Fahrenheit, it's going to, uh, it's going to be cooking here. So I've got the power and the extension cord all the way out here. This isn't where I'm always going to have this thing, but for the sake of experimenting right now, I'm going to plug this thing in. I already got this all warmed up. Just shut it off so I can talk to you guys now. Plug this in here like that. I'm gonna turn her on. See what we get out of it. 4,000 peak watts and 3,500 running watts. I thought it was 3,000. 35, even better. Everything should be powered on here. Let's check the lights first. Lights are working. Obviously, they're just LED lights. I mean, that should work. <laughs> lights, lights, interior. Here we go. We have lights. Now for the big test. The air conditioning. Set it to cool. The fan's running. Set it down 65. Okay, the AC just kicked on. Oh, this place needs a cleaning. We haven't had a chance to clean it this spring yet. Britt hasn't even been here yet, and I haven't uh, haven't gotten around to it. But yeah, that's air conditioning. <laughs> okay, now let's uh, shut the door here. You can hardly hear that thing. Let's shut this fan off, this air conditioner off. So it's a little bit of ambient noise back there, but I'm gonna move that generator further away from the camper so that it's not noisy in here. That's not bad. Not too bad, right? Sort of hear it out there. Cool this place down. Let's see what else we can uh get this generator to do. I want to be able to hear if it's struggling at all, so I'm going to open this door again, if I know how. Okay. I'm going to turn on the fridge. Okay, the fridge can also run on propane, but we have it set on electric right now in the freezer. The only thing is we probably won't be able to use this anyways, because it takes about 24 hours for the fridge and freezer to cool down and I'm not going to leave that thing running for 24 hours unless we're actually staying here for a weekend maybe in that case it'll run for a majority of, I, don't, I don't think so okay so the fridge is on the lights are on let's try the microwave this is the big one this is the big test uh, so nothing's in there just make sure put it for like 20 seconds and go Thing struggling at all? No, it's it's handling it just fine. It's got the AC running, it's got the microwave going, it's got the fridge and freezer running. <laughs> so now we can make food here. We can either microwave it or we can use the propane, use the stove. 
we've got lights. Uh, the water pump will work, however, we don't have water here yet. So that's a problem we're gonna have to uh, work out. Because the lady is going to need to use the bathroom. I can use the woods, she's going to need a bathroom. I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. Oh, still going? Yeah. Right on, so we're gonna leave this running while we're working out here. Let's see if we can cool this place off nice. Let's go cut some wood. For the water situation, what I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do is we're just gonna bring bottled water here. Just drink bottled water uh, until we dig a well. I don't wanna completely get the water flowing in here and then have to re-winterize it next winter if we're not gonna use it that much. For the toilet, Maybe we can rent uh, one of those porta potties, have it around here. Or, uh, I mean, we can still use the septic. We'll just have to flush it down with water. Maybe take some tap water from home. And if you have to go to the bathroom, just rinse it down with tap water that we brought along. I don't know, that's, that's problems for another day. One problem at a time. Sun is slowly headed to the west west horizon over there but we're making some progress here cleared this little area he's cutting down the bushes cleaning them up and mowing it down i think i'm going to turn that into my little bush mower and this is working pretty good i may not even get a skid steer this year then to level this all out i may just clear it out like this is the best i can the only problem is we got all these stumps from the bushes that's what I'd like to dig up with the skid steer, but maybe we don't need that this year. Maybe I can just use that mower there as my bushwhacker and get a new uh, push mower for the house at home. Same price as renting a skid steer, you know? We get an extra mower out of it then. We'll just do this ourselves. I don't know. Stuff to think about. We'll see how much, how much I can get done like this. We just had this area cleared before, right? Where my pickup was in pretty much. Today I got all of this cleared out. And into there. The only problem I've got here is these stumps where these bushes were. I'll either have to get the skid steer in to dig those out, or we'll find a whole bunch of clean fill somewhere and we'll just cover it all with clean fill. Once we have everything cleared, because then we know where the fill goes, right? So if I can clear this all without the skid steer, organize it or get organized then i should be able to just find some clean fill somewhere hopefully i can find some at a good price get it shipped here dumped here then i'll rent a skid steer level it all out angle it properly for drainage and stuff and that should bury all this well that's an idea i don't know i'd love to hear your ideas down below in the comment section what do you think i should do with this should i scrape a layer of dirt off of this along with the roots of all of these bushes or should i just cover them up with fill and then let grass grow on top of that let me know down below what would you do you probably have more experience doing this than i do this is my first time doing all of this i have no idea what i'm doing but i'm gonna figure it out i might not know what i'm doing but i'll figure it out but I don't mind if you want to help a little bit and give me some advice. I bet you there's a few of you watching right now that are landscapers. Maybe you've already built those. Maybe you've cleared bush like this before and you know the best way to do it. Let me know. Give me an option other than just hire somebody. That's the easy option. That's the easy answer. Just hire someone to do it. I'd like ways to do it without hiring someone. How can I do this myself? Yeah, we'll take one last look at it. And this was just a uh, half an afternoon's work. Only left home at 3.30 and 6.30 now. So it's been three hours, including the drive here. All that to do yet. But from here to there is clear aside from all of these, like uh, these roots and stuff. Yeah, so I need to find a way of just like shaving them down, grinding them down. Uh, I don't know. I'll uh, look in the comment section. I'm sure there are plenty of you out there around the world with some good ideas. 
we made a lot of progress at the land and the rest of the weekend we made some progress here let me show you our front area here oh can't really see it we got our uh, patio set out here now all ready for summer we got things a little bit more organized in here weasel helped we've got this whole room completely reorganized and look at all the space we have in here now I had realized that uh, this vent is our intake for our furnace and for the fan and that was blocked by that uh, bookshelf it was in front of there so it wasn't circulating the air in here properly so we got this cleared away now but the bed in the corner here <laughs> my old duck dynasty blanket on there <laughs> that's the the guest bed and then my workstation right there and i also brought the treadmill inside i'll show you that another day it's just in the living room there right now but it's uh on the phone i believe but you know what let's go over here i wish i could <laughs> all right right there what's that so that's where our uh dehumidifier used to be now we got this back here which we don't always have running but when it does get high uh, this, this house has had some issues with humidity in here, but that's changing as it's getting warmer outside. We can just open the windows and let the humidity out. But, uh, you know, in the humid days, we've got to have this running here. And so this actually sucks the air from the whole house because it's such a small house. And then it blows the air down here, circulating the air as well. I'm trying to get good circulation in the house and get the air you know, moving a little bit so we don't have any stale air. That's why I leave my closets open. The closet here open. This is my closet. Brits is in our room. <laughs> Leave that open so that everything can circulate and we don't get any uh, stale staleness. I'm really tired right now though. Uh, it's Sunday when I'm uh, filming this last little end clip. I hope you guys had a great weekend. It's back to work tomorrow for me, bright and early. And guess what? It's supposed to snow. Why? did I do? 7 to 12 centimeters of snow. And for those Americans out there, that's probably about, what, 6 inches? How much is 12 centimeters? 12 centimeters is, uh, well, 30 centimeters is a foot. So 12 centimeters is just less than half a foot. So let's say 4 to 5 inches. So let's say two to five inches we're supposed to get tomorrow. It's April 12th tomorrow. And it's supposed to snow the next couple of days after that yet. This is another one of those crazy weather systems that uh, Alberta and their uh, southern buddies Montana are sending our way. Thanks guys, we uh, don't appreciate it, but we are polite here and we wanna say thank you very much for sharing. Uh, at least you're not being selfish. There's that, right? And on that note, tune in tomorrow to see me drive trucks in the snow in the middle of April. Hooray. It's going to be fun, though. We're going to make it fun, right? It's going to be a good day either way. We're going to make it a good day. Uh, we just got to figure out how. <laughs>